Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're tackling a problem that gardeners know all too well, squash bugs. If you've ever grown squash or other cucurbit plants, you know how frustrating these little pests can be. But don't worry, they are a common issue and, more importantly, a solvable one. Before we dive in, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share this video with others who might find it helpful, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or tips of your own. Alright, let's get started. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! Step 1. Identify the squash bugs. Firstly, you need to confirm that you're indeed dealing with squash bugs. They're usually gray or brown, and their eggs are copper-colored and laid in clusters. A study conducted by the University of California's Statewide Integrated Pest Management Program has excellent pictures and identification criteria. Step 2. Manually remove adult bugs and eggs. How to do it? Put on gloves. Get a bucket filled with soapy water. Pick off adult bugs and nymphs from the plants. Drop them into the bucket. Yes, the University of Maryland's Extension Program also suggests manual removal as one of the most effective early interventions. Step 3. Use insecticidal soap. How to do it? Fill a spray bottle with insecticidal soap. Spray it directly on the bugs, making sure to get under leaves where they hide. Research from the Colorado State University Extension backs up the efficacy of insecticidal soaps against soft-bodied insects like squash bug nymphs. Step 4. Apply neem oil. How to do it? Mix neem oil as per the manufacturer's instructions. Apply it generously on the affected plants. Cornell University has a great study showing that neem oil can act as a useful insecticide for various garden pests, including squash bugs. Step 5. Use floating row covers. How to do it? Drape the floating row covers over your plants. Secure the edges to the ground with rocks or soil. These covers can act as a physical barrier, recommended by experts from the University of Missouri Extension. Step 6. Set up sticky traps. How to do it? Place sticky traps near the affected plants. Check them regularly and replace as needed. The University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences can vouch for the effectiveness of sticky traps for monitoring and capturing pests. Step 7. Practice crop rotation. How to do it? Sketch out your garden layout. Rotate where you plant particular vegetables each season. Iowa State University's Extension and Outreach Program has research showing that crop rotation is a cornerstone of pest management, including squash bugs. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to bid farewell to those pesky squash bugs. Remember, the key is early intervention and persistent efforts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. Happy gardening!